What's up guys, this is Mike from Terrestrial Imaging and in this video I'm going to share with you the three things that you need to know when using dual payloads with the Matrice 210. On the table with me is the DJI Matrice 210 and what sets this copter apart is its ability to use two payloads at once. And so right now on our Matrice 210 I have an X4S camera and a high resolution FLIR XT camera. And to control it, I have the Sendence uh, controller. And on that, I have the Crystal Sky display. And so the first thing that you need to know when you're using two payloads with the Matrice 210 is that you have to use the DJI Pilot app. Now I got my equipment turned on, you may even be able to hear it. But uh, so the first point I wanna make again, when using two payloads with the Matrice 210, you're going to have to use the DJI Pilot app. So if you're a DJI Pilot and you have other DJI equipment, or even the Matrice 210, you may be familiar with the DJI Go 4 app. And that's the app that typically controls the Mavic, Phantom, uh, Matrice 200, and it actually can control the Matrice 210 as well, but only when you have one payload. So, for example, if I were to remove this XT right here and only have the X4S on, I'd be able to use the DJI Go 4 app. So, again though, uh, when you're using two payloads, you have to use the DJI Pilot app. And so, I'm going to go into the app here and we're going to have a look. Now that I have my equipment powered on, and the DJI Pilot app loaded, the second thing that you need to know when using dual payloads with the Matrice 210 is that you could either control them independently or you could link them together and control them simultaneously. So if you have a look at the display, you'll notice right now that I have one full view camera and the other one is miniaturized in the bottom right corner. And so whichever one is full view, that's the one, that's your primary camera that you have control over. So. If you're familiar with the DJI controllers, on the back there's two wheels. And so while I have this camera in full view, if I move the wheels, it will either pitch up and down or rotate left and right. And so it's really easy to control it and it's really easy to see which one you're controlling. And so to switch now between the cameras, you just hit the thumbnail on the bottom right and that switches to the other camera. So right now I have the XT now. So Again, you spin the wheels and it controls the cameras. And so again, really easy to switch back and forth, really easy con to control. And that's really what makes this copter so great is you have the two payloads, you could control them, face them whichever which way. And again, real easy, real simple, great. So now next, we're gonna show you how to pair them together and move them sim simultaneously. So on the display, there's a button that looks like two overlapping cameras. When you press that button, you'll notice that both the cameras will sync up. So whichever one's on the right of the copter will sync up with the camera on the left. And so now that you have them both paired, again, same wheels to move them. The wheels do the same thing, but the difference is now you're controlling them together and they're going to be facing the same way at all times. And then lastly, to unlink them, real simple, you just hit the button again and now they're unlinked and you could switch between the two and control them with the wheels. So again, real easy guys. The second thing I wanted you to know, you could control each camera independently or you can link them together and control them simultaneously. So throughout this video, I've been talking about dual payload capabilities with the Matrice 210. And so actually on our setup right now, there's, there's really three cameras. So you have the two downward ones and then you have an FPV camera in the front. And so FPV, that's first person view or pilot's view. And the whole point of that camera is to always be facing forward so that way the pilot doesn't lose orientation of the aircraft. So again though, if you look at the display, you have the full view camera and then the thumbnail on the bottom right, but there's no thumbnail, no nothing of the FPV camera. And the reason that is, 
is when you're using two payloads with the Matrice 210 on the bottom, you will not get the FPV displayed. So that's the third point I wanted to make. Again, two payloads, you can't view the FPV camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove one of the payloads, power the copter down, restart it, and show you what that FPV camera looks like. So now I have my aircraft repowered with just the X4S on. And if you have a look at the display, I'm still in the DJI Pilot app, even though I explained earlier in the video that you can use the DJI Go 4 app. But I stuck with the Pilot app to show you now the bottom right thumbnail, rather than that XT, it's actually the FPV camera. And it's pretty hard to see the difference right now because both cameras are facing the same uh, way and they have basically the same shot. But I'll move the camera, I'll move the X4 that is, and show you the value of the FPV camera. So as you can see, this camera's rotating, it's moving up and down. And while in flight, it's pretty easy to lose orientation if you're going just off that camera. But now we go back to the FPV camera and it looks just like it did when I first turned this on. And that's because this camera is always facing forward and you have no control over it. Over it. So if I move the wheel, I'm still moving the X4S camera, but the FPV camera stays the same. And again, a huge value to this copter. You always know which way is forward and it really helps avoiding accidents and getting back home safely. So there you have it, that's the FPV camera. Um, as far as it goes in the DJI Pilot app, it doesn't look much different than when you have the dual payloads on. But again, very useful tool, and this will not be viewed when you have two cameras on at once. So that's it guys, those are the three points that I wanted you to know when using the DJI Matrice 210 with two payloads. So thanks for watching, I hope this video helped. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want more, subscribe to our channel and be sure to visit us on the web on Facebook or our website www.terrestrialimaging.com.